Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to FTP on a custom firmware PS3. What you're going to need for this is a custom firmware PS3, a USB drive, and a computer. So what you're first going to do is download the Rebug Toolbox.pkg. Then you're going to plug in your USB drive and then go to your computer. And then you're going to you're going to be here and then you're going to find your USB and click it drag the rebug toolbox.pkg into your USB drive. Once that's done, you're going to go to your browser. I use Google Chrome. You're going to type in FileZilla. You're going to download the FileZilla client. Skip. You're going to run it. Press yes to it. I already did this, but for you, you're going to press next, obviously, and complete it. Once that's done, you're going to open your FileZilla client, and then head over your, and then head over to your PS3, and, and unplug your USB. Alright, I'll see you back at the PS3. So you're on your PS3, you're going to want to plug in your USB head over to install package files or for me it's going to be package manager since I'm on rebug custom firmware and then I'm gonna head over to install package files standard then you're gonna you're gonna see rebug toolbox full then you're gonna press X I already have it installed so I'm not gonna reinstall it but you you will it will just load up and install for you then, um, then you go back to your XMB and load up Rebug Toolbox. Once that's done, you're just going to press X for your system information, and that's the IP address you're going to put into FileZilla. So mine's 192.168.1.10. So just head back to your PC and load up FileZilla. Once you're back on your computer, you're just going to go to host, and then you're going to type in the IP address that you saw in system information. So here is the PS3, and this is FTP. And as you can see, you can just go through your entire PS3 hard drive, and even FTP games, like I did. And that's for the that's that for the video. Take care. See you guys later.